I'm going to show you now entering the forks into the vessel there so we can set the height we wheel in nice and gently all the way in till we see the band touching the back of the drum then we can press lift pull it a bit back from the rack in Push it forward. Lower down. Then just maneuver out, keeping it nice and straight as you come out. We'll show you lowering and hiring now. So if we lower down, raise up, wheel back into the container, keep nice and straight, get nice and close, and then I can see I need to come down on the forks. Again, keep it pushed forward. So you see the back band around the drum, then press lift, pull back, and we use this lever here to lower, make sure there's nothing in the way of the drum. We can control the lowering speed, you see here we can slow it right the way down, or go faster. We'll just watch these forks here just come away. So we just lower down. So it's about halfway. Check the other side. And then so it's very easy to get the right height. If you come to it, lower down. Again, watch the back band here. So this band, push it forward. So that's all the way into the drum. Keep it pushed forward slightly. When we lift, if I put the brakes on here. This drum's got 150 kilos of weight in it. So this is over and above uh, the weight we need, but we're rated at 150 kilos. You can see here, you cannot get the unit to slide off the end. Um, so it's very simple, easy to operate. What we'll do now, we'll do a close-up and show you the rotation mechanism. Okay, the next thing is when we can adjust the head this way or this way by turning the handle, and there's a level bubble there on the head. So make sure the bubble's in the middle, which shows you that you're absolutely horizontal, put the brake on, or one or two of the brakes on the unit, and then lift. Again, always remember when you're lifting or lowering, this is the safe area here, behind here, 
no one should be ahead of this position where any of the moving parts are. Rotation handle here, so literally just rotate the handle around. And again, there's a level bubble position here. So when we're going up, to actually pick it back up, we actually just turn that until we actually see the bubble in the middle. As soon as the bubble aligned, we know that we're actually perfectly level to do the docking of the unit. Um, next thing I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna move it around and we'll do a close up of the, uh, of the panel. We're now looking at the back control panel. First thing you notice, emergency stop. This just cancels lift. It doesn't cancel lower, because lower is a manual control. If we turn this lever, the carriage goes down. Turn it faster, goes quicker, or stop. So emergency stop just stops the lift. So let's reset, lift up. We have an on off here. So you can turn this off, and take the key out. So you can't use the unit. So put the key in. Turn power on, E stop armed, and then here is the battery condition meter. So here it tells you how much battery charge you have. Keep it charged up as much as you can. We're leaning on the E stop. Then we have the lift button. So this is a set speed, but it's the lowering control we've done to allow you to align the bars. On this side of the panel, just out of shot, is the charging connector. So when you finish using the unit, and you're going to leave it for any length of time, switch off the power key.